Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Medieval. Last time we completed the Crystal Caverns, and in this episode I believe we will be heading on to the Gallows Gauntlet. Now, um, this level... I, I seem to always start levels like that. I always seem to go in like, mm, this level, but uh... I remember this level very well, actually. Um... One may say it's why am I not? Oh yeah, because I switched the controls to the <laughs> to the D-pad. But um, one may say that this may be my favorite level, but I can't really say it's my favorite. Level. Oh, and wow, that's sweet. I'm not gonna waste that a lot. I'm glad I have that though. Um, setting. Yeah, there we go. Let's just whip out the magic sword. Um, I remember this level a lot just because of a few mechanics it has, and it was always really interesting to me as a kid. I really liked it because of the few things that happened here. Um, can I read a book seriously, Dan? Take care not to wake the Serpent of Galamir. It is a most powerful supernatural creature that was bound somewhere within these chasm walls. If you encounter it, run! Yes, that is the, uh, the special little mechanic that is in this world. And boy, is he uh, not a very friendly mechanic. <laughs> Ugh. He will find you and begin to chase after you, and it is uh, quite rude. Sorry about that, I just need to change, it, uh, change my screen so I can actually see the time. I like to keep track of my time, even though every once in a while it seems like uh, my videos seem to get really, really long. <laughs> uh. Anyway, let's get back to this. This level, it's, uh, it's full of dead guys. And, uh, the music's actually, actually, uh, the same music from Pools of the Ancient Dead, I believe. It kind of fits it since this is, I, I think this is kind of like, kind of like a war-themed level. It's got, like, all these dead war guys impaled on the bayonets and stuff. It's weird. You'll see, like, some hangmen later. It's different. The mummies don't necessarily fit in. Um, oh, I need to point this thing out. Look at this thing. This big husk of a serpent. I kind of believe this is the Serpent of Galamir. Um, not the spiritual form, though, it's just the physical form, but it, it, it really looks like it once was, or something like that, because it just seems too significant. <laughs> the fabled dragon armor was forged by dragons from an age long ago. Seek out any remaining, remaining dragons if you are to claim this mighty armor. <laughs> well, I already have that. You see, this is like where where the, uh, the fact that you needed the dragon gems to get the dragon armor to actually beat the uh, the crystal caves to beat this level falls in place. Without like those dragon gems, without the asylum, we wouldn't have this level. <laughs> this level would not be brought to you today if I had skipped the asylum. Oh my. Now, these guys seem to be doing a whole lot of damage. I need to be more careful. Um, how about these hangmen? What's my shield? Do I even have it equipped? I need to check that, because we have this super powerful gold shield, and I don't seem to be using it at all. Um, why are you running away? What are you doing? Way to be a way to be a great enemy. Get over here. Well, he's not very helpful, or at least not helpful to, towards his own dudes. Um, sh silver shield. Let's head back here. There was, a, there was a path back here, I believe, with one of these mummy dudes. And if, I'll just stay as far away from him as I can. I'm not going to go in there just yet, you need the, uh, the dragon armor to pass through that gate, but that's where the Serpent of Galamir is, and you really don't want to trigger him until like you get everything beyond that area. This magical barrier was constructed by the dragons of old. Only those brave enough to adorn the dragon armor may pass through this fiery gateway. But yes, you kind of you want to get rid of the enemies and like try to get as many goodies as you can before you head through those gates or else the rest of the level will be a pain for you, and it will uh, involve a lot of running around like crazy. Ugh, get out of my way! Did I actually use the shield? It's a pretty great shield, even though I keep getting stabbed to death. Now, I might want to be a bit more careful with my health. I don't want to run out of it before the serpent. He doesn't do a lot of damage on contact, but uh, you still want to worry about him. There's the exit over there. That's handy to know about. Um, ooh, hi there guys! How's it going? These pike guys do a whole lot of damage. Quite unnecessary. Ugh. I need to start using my shield more often. You can save me from a few hits. Ah, uh, these mummy guys- I don't understand the mummies. They don't really fit in with the whole war scene. They're just mummies. They just kind of hang out. I guess they, they came to the wrong, uh, wrong party, one could say. 
What is this? Is this the... I read that already, didn't I? Did I read this? I just need to check. Um, it doesn't look like I did. Unable to pass through the fiery dragon gate? Only use this alternate route if there, are, if no other is available, and return to the map of Galamir. Okay, so yeah, if you didn't have the, the dragon armor, then you could just pass through there and not have to worry about this. But uh, it wouldn't let you go on to the next level of the game. Now let's whip out our dragon armor here and uh, go to town on these guys. Burn, suckers! Oh, jeez, I'm getting, I'm getting hit a lot. Are they dead? I'm um, almost. I'm just gonna wait for him to kind of, kind of burn. Now we need to be really careful here, and I need to be really wary because if that chest breaks, if that chest breaks, we're gonna, we're gonna have to run. Um, if I actually get close, I think it will shatter. But I'm just gonna try to stay a decent distance away from it. And maybe if you step on that platform, I don't know. I can't remember what you have to do to trigger it. I might just trigger it to show you, um, but I may have found a way to glitch this. <laughs> Maybe just don't get close to it and it won't get mad at- Oh no, I heard it. <laughs> yeah, I heard that chest break. Where is it? I don't see him. And he's not dead yet, what the heck? Is it chasing me? I think something's up. Yeah, the, uh, the chest broke, but I don't see the serpent. That's a little frightening. <laughs> um, he, he usually chases after you. I don't know where the heck he is. Sorry, I guess we won't be seeing him for now unless, like, he just decides to pop up later on. He's kind of like Kalkatura. He just kind of runs around and gets in your way and will, like, do cheap shots on you. <laughs> Except Kalkatura doesn't do cheap shots. He just, he's nice. He's the nice one of the group. Um, what do we have here? We have treasure chest. Where is this guy? I'm confused. He should be chasing me. <laughs> I guess the game did glitch out a bit, or like maybe, maybe I just got lucky. I kind of don't want him to chase after me, actually. He's a pretty tough guy, <laughs> and he's rather annoying when you have to deal with him because he'll just like swerve around you like a crazy nutbag and won't leave you alone. <laughs> I might actually just restart the level after this so you guys can see him, because I do want to show him off. He is a cool thing. Um, where is the the gate that has my chalice in it? It's down here, isn't it? Yeah, where the heck are you? Maybe he's just on, you know, spring break or something. I don't know. It's not even the spring. It's, it's the summer. Maybe he's on summer break. That would, that would suit this more. Back! Back, fellow scum. Back, beasts. Now I can get my chalice, but I'm going to take these guys out or else they're just going to get in my way later. Crazy guys. Crazy little floppy guy. I'm not dealing with you because you're in the way of the door, and I know Dan. He's just gonna run right out there, isn't he? Um, I could trust Dan, but I don't think I can trust him that much. Seriously, where are you, snake dude? This is disappointing. I mean, I was I was totally ready to daring dash about the level, avoiding you, but apparently he doesn't feel like playing. Now, where was this chalice? Man, this this level isn't very maze-like. It's pretty linear, but. <laughs> As I am with my poor sense of direction, I'm just not going to find the, the way to go at all. I think I've been here, actually. Yeah, that's the end of the level right there. Where is this this chalice? It's like... No, it's down here, isn't it? Yeah, there we go. Chalice of Champions. Let me check my time. I might have enough time to go run back and see if he actually is here. Uh, it's nine minutes. It's not really that much. Uh, if I leave and go to the Hall of Heroes, I might just come back to show you this guy, because he actually is cool. And it would blow if you guys didn't get to see him. Yeah, where the heck are you, you stupid serpent? Wasting my time being f scared of you. Whoa, the camera kind of scared me there. Flipped in on his face. Hmm, I don't know what happened. Oh well. <laughs> That's surprising. I'm kind of glad I don't have to deal with him. I can just get, get this level over with. It's a nice level. I remember it a lot because of the snake. I wish I could have showed him off. I guess, uh, I guess I will go back in after we head to the Hall of Heroes. The Hall of Heroes. Oh, wait, I just realized, uh, that exit. It was, uh, like, one of those, uh, Greek centurion helmets or something like that. Maybe, Ro I guess Roman might fit it more. I don't know. Greek, Roman. Both different. I think it was Roman, but I don't know. 
Anyway, does anyone have any wonderful goodies for us? Not Axe Guy. Centaur Guy! He's the most generous out of all of the guys. Come on. Give me something. Oh, Danielle. I've got something here I can give you, but I've no idea what it is. Do you fancy a little gamble, like? Sure, I'll accept. Ooh, I do like that. I wish they wouldn't just keep repeating his uh, his text, though. I like Centaur Guy. He's pretty cool. Ooh, let me take that armor off. Uh, I don't really care about that armor as much as this thing. Glorious magic sword. Let me put the shield to it. It fits more if you have the shield. Magic sword and shield. I am the hero of Galamir. Let's leave the Hall of Heroes. I have more health. It's going to be cool when that entire bar is filled. Or maybe. Maybe there will be a point in time when I will have all of my health filled up. Probably before the final fight I will go and like try to fill it up. I don't know. Maybe. It seems like a good idea. Let's save our progress. That was the Gallows Gauntlet. I'm actually going to he just head back in there in a minute. Oh, I just noticed the time. Has it seriously only been four hours? Jeez, if this was Okami, it would have been like 32 or something. I always reference that Let's Play. Um, anyway, hey, let me get off topic a bit. <laughs> this is the Haunted Ruins, the next level. We will not be heading there right now. I'm just going to go back here to the Gallows Gauntlet just to show you what it is because it is a cool level and is that a... I, I, I can't... Un I don't understand the picture. I guess it's kind... Oh, that's a canyon. I always thought it was like this big wall thing, but I... I guess that's a canyon. It makes sense. Let's replay the Gallows Gauntlet. I want to show you the, the Serpent of Galamir. <laughs> it, it is rather dangerous, one may say. Now let me just charge throughout this level. I'm going to avoid all of the enemies. Oh wait, maybe that's not a good idea. Because there's health over here, and that's a good idea. Health is always nice to have. Die! Creepy dude. Yeah, maybe if I could just recharge on health, I could, uh... It would make future levels more easier. Easier to do. I'm having trouble with my words, and I don't know why. <laughs> I seem to slip over them a lot. Man, it's so hard to think of filler. Like, something to say while, while I get all my go-go juice. <laughs> Oop, get out of my way. Oop, suckers. Get out of me. Get out of here. Little floppy dudes on their other uh, hangman thingies, their nooses. Now let's go all dragon armor, and I'm gonna show this guy off to you. What? I cannot charge in this? Yeah, I can. Don't lie to me. And there he is. Serpent of Galamir, run like heck. And I won't be able to finish the level if I don't go over here. I need to hit one of these buttons. That's not the right one. One of these will open up the thing with the star rune in it. No, that's health. Th that is another nice thing, but... Oh, wow. I said he didn't do a lot of damage, but I totally lied there. Look at him. He is completely destroying me. Um, there we go. Thank you. Finally. Okay, time to leave. Out of my way, enemies. Ow. Oh, I wouldn't be surprised if I died here. He is, he is this guy. He is, he is a dangerous cookie. You don't want to mess with him. The Serpent of Galamir is not something to be reckoned with. However, if you do Daring Dash everywhere, he can't really keep up. <laughs> now, let's go grab our Star Rune. I should have killed these guys, but that would just that would just waste time, I think. <laughs> wow, he isn't yeah, not as fast as you think you are. Oh, he's catching up. He's catching up. Oh, he's catching up. He's catching up. He's gonna get me. Oh, he's gonna get me. Oh, he's gonna get me. Oh, he's gonna get me. He's gonna get me. Let's just run on out of here and lag a bunch. Thanks. Okay. Thanks, a noodle. Oh, grab that. Get through the door. Get out of here. Oh, my. Exciting. <laughs> Serpent of Galamir for you guys, folks. Crazy thing, isn't he? Well, that was the Gallows Gauntlet. I hope you enjoyed. Um, next episode, we will be heading into the Haunted Ruins, another level that I actually really do like. Um, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys then. Goodbye.